And why not? You won't be able to see them because it'll be overcast. That's the way it always is. Meteor showers. I love to go out in big meteor showers, right? Every freaking time in Minot, we go out full moon or overcast. That Every one, that time. That one year we had that eclipse here. Yeah. Total eclipse. Art had somebody, I think he was a ham from down in Ohio that traveled all the way up here and <coughs> contacted Art. He, said, yeah. he didn't know him, but he found out he was a ham. Yeah. So he came up here and then went up to Columbus just to observe that. Well, it's quite a deal. I mean, first time, all first time you see one, it, it's pretty it impressive. Well, they proved some of Einstein's theories through that process. Uh, really? Yeah, his relativity and that about the bending of light. Well, I thought you meant about traveling that far to see it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it anybody who does that? It's just stupid. <laughs> no, but, but at, at, full, at full eclipse, they were, yeah, actually, it's got more money than they were act, actually able to measure the difference uh, at full eclipse of bending of light from around the sun. And you know, know how they did it. I, you know, astrophysicists are. Yeah. I wonder how many guys yes. from 2,000 years ago are blind because they stood there looking at that. Oh yeah, well, you know, if, if know you don't, I, I'll give you for instance how how terror it might put into people. When I was in, when I was with the Canadians, I had never seen them before in my life ever. And I'm walking to work at 30 years, and I look up. And the sky is just all lit up. And I'm like, that's it, second coming, I'm ready, let's go. <laughs> and I stood there for a long time and I was like, Aurora. Damn. <laughs> well, I can remember what they had watching them all the time when I was a kid, and I thought it was sunlight reflecting off the ice up there. Because you could see it moving. Well yeah, it's a, you can see the band you can see the waves and you get the place Grand Forks when we were there had some really multi, so back in the 70s, had some really nice multicolor ones, but the best ones I've ever seen were up in the bush in Alaska. And we're 100 miles south of Fairbanks, and you got away from the site, got back out in the trees, got on the river, where you weren't getting hardly any light from anywhere. Oh my God, it was like a huge big flag, multicolored flag and artillery round. And the first time you really step in, you look at it. It's amazing. It is amazing. You know, I mean, I, I and a lot of times camping, where you're yeah. really away <laughs> yeah, from yeah. or out, right. you're right. out and yeah. away from city life. And, and you know, if you get a, uh, I can remember one up at the, the Boundary Waters. Oh yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. canoeing. And, and when I was a kid, it had to be like mid fifties or something. Oh my. I Almost mean, no I, 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 I had, it had to be like, I don't know, 10 years Well, this old, time they're supposed old. to be strong enough wow. that you can see them in Colorado and We'll be overcast, though. You can bank on that. Because we always them, are. <laughs> I told the kids if it, if it looks like it's going to be good, have your parents drive Absolutely. The country is going to look yeah. good. It's, 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 it's amazing to see. And we used to, we used to be out even in the summer. Or not, well, Alaska was kind of weird that way. But there was times where it was warm enough for us. What we would do is pull the power wagon up, aim it the right direction, crawl up on the hood, and move back on the windshield on patrol, and just stare at it. Wow. Go on the internet. Huge multicolored. A lot of the neat pictures yeah. from Norway. Yeah. 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 That spaceweather.com is a good website for that. Well, you know, Paul actually yeah, has, has got a good really tweet. nice website yeah. where that, that okay. was Paul myself. I, I oh, put a link to he it. He actually got a pretty good thing on Gus, too. You get a better deal with AK from him than you can from a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He sells guns, so. Paul? Yeah. Paul, yeah. Oh, yeah. Barry's bought a bunch of stuff. Huh? His dad was my nice rich shop teacher. Yeah. Years ago. Yeah, it hasn't been very long ago. About the time Paul got out of the end. A ninth grade shop, eighth grade shop, no, kid shop is one of the most useful things I've ever seen. Seventh, eighth, and ninth grade. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, seventh and eighth. We had drafting, you know, we had a mechanical draft drawing. And, yeah. And, and, you know, it was the first time in my life that I was ever exposed to, oh. <laughs> this well, we, actually, but, but we, we actually went into the shop with power tools. That oh, was yeah. scary. Well, not everybody's only. Everybody's jerking off and everybody's project. And they're worrying about.